Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, it's Paul Yester here and today we're going to do an April Fool's Day recap. So we're going to go over some of the things that were Dead by Daylight related that happened on April Fool's Day and we'll see, maybe you saw them all, maybe there were some you didn't see, maybe there's some that I didn't see and you can let me know about it in the comments. So let's talk about all the April Fool's stuff. So the first indication that we had that Dead by Daylight was going to participate in April Fool's Day and try and pull a couple of fast ones on us was the Shrine of Secrets, which only had one perk in it, which was Calm Spirit, uh, only available for 24 hours. Calm Spirit was the only perk that you could get for 24 hours. And some people said this was a callback to uh, Hybrid Panda's Shrine Watch number 54, where he had noted through the end of July 2019, the first seven months of 2019, um, Calm Spirit had appeared 18 times on the Shrine of Secrets since uh, the Shrine of Secrets was in, uh, introduced. So there was a lot of Calm Spirit available over the years. And man, I, I miss you, Hybrid Panda. I, I need my Shrine Master back. I hope everything is well. Thinking about you, man. All right, so that was the first thing that Dead by Daylight did for April Fool's Day. And then the Dead by Daylight mobile team got in on the game with this tweet here. New 100% totally real Dead by Daylight mobile exclusive outfits have been unveiled for the Spirit, the Clown, and Claudette. Vote for your favorite in the comments. And we have this pop star Spirit with her hair bleached out and this pink tube top. Chef Hawk in this Chef Boyardee-esque outfit as a killer. And the crazy cat lady Claudette. And honestly, I think that People would want these, even though they're fake. I think that there would be a percentage of people who are now sad that they have seen these outfits and know that they are just a joke. And, oh, by the way, don't forget to register for Dead by Daylight Mobile. Um, go to the website. If you do, everybody on PC and console will get this special phone charm if they can get a million people to register. They're halfway there already. They got over 500,000. So please push it. Everybody on console and PC will get this charm if you do. And then on the official Dead by Daylight Discord server, they had changed the entire theme of the server to a hive of bees. And Daisy writes here, April Fool's dear everyone, as you may have noticed, the bees have taken over this Discord the last 24 hours. Thank you to everyone who participated as a worker bee or were acceptive of this prank. Let this be a reminder that you don't have to do mean things to pull a prank. Bees are important for our environment. It is estimated that one third of the food that we consume each day relies on pollination, mainly by bees. Please take care of the world, each other, and yourself. And for those in certain countries, stay inside, wash your hands, be safe, and flatten the curve. I think that's every country now. But I digress. Much love, the Dead by Daylight Discord staff and GT team. So you see we had like a whole ton of little... Uh, the reactions there and I don't have screenshots of it but basically everybody changed their name to like worker B and then gave themselves numbers and all of their profile pictures were changed to bees bees you say huh hmm that's an interesting theme probably not related to anything at all so those are the things from the official channels regarding April Fool's Day now for the unofficial channels, those content creators that you know of out there in the world. We had a few different content creators that I noticed did different things. Pupper is on his Twitch stream and said happy birthday, which I don't genuinely think that it was his birthday. Okay, I think it was an that. April you Fool's joke a... that it was his <laughs> birthday, if I'm wrong about that. Happy birthday to you, Puppers. I still have the peanut butter chocolate cake here, whether it's your birthday or not. Man, it's... I don't need a lot of excuses to eat cake. So I have the cake here ready for you whenever you want it, puppers. Happy birthday or happy April Fool's to you, whichever was the case for that. And you may have noticed that Noob3 and Monto switched channels for a day. If you tuned into Monto's channel and clicked on the video entitled Potato Tries to Solo Sabo, you were greeted with a Noob3 video. And vice versa, if you went to Noob's channel and clicked on the video Devour Soap Domination, you were greeted with a Monto video. So they swapped it up there, exchanging videos to put on each other's channels. Pretty clever. It's actually one of the ideas that King and I had considered. And now having seen this, I'm glad that we didn't do it. But uh, yeah, that was a, a fun little bit that uh, Noob3 and Monto did. 
And then if you went to the King DVDs channel, you were greeted with this totally fake chapter leak about Slender Man coming to Dead by Daylight. King, I'm so disappointed in you. How could you prey on the hopes and dreams of the Dead by Daylight public who love the Slender Man character by making them believe that Slender Man was coming to Dead by Daylight? It's disgust. Oh, wait, I did that too. Anyway, yeah, so we both did that. <laughs> it was actually King led the charge on this. I I did very little. The, actually, the only contribution I remember making is when he showed me what he had done. I said, don't forget, you have to create a power. And he said, oh, yeah. And then he did a power in like five minutes. That was my entire contribution to this thing. He just sent me the footage and uh, we ran with it. And I, I can't thank King enough for taking me on that ride with him. It, it was a fun uh, it was a fun video to make. I, I was really hesitant at first, but he insisted. And then as I started to make the video, I really got into it. And, you know, I know it's a prank, and I know that you there's people out there who really want Slender Man, and they hold it against myself and King, and I understand that. But, you know, I think a lot of times on April Fool's Day, that is kind of what the prank is supposed to do. It's supposed to make you a little mad, and then you're supposed to get over it and laugh at it. But uh, a lot of people forget about the get over it part. But that's just the way it is. So we did that. Will it be the last time we ever do anything like that? I don't know. And oh my gosh, so then after that, this week, a couple of days later, somebody figured out how they could take an old build of Dead by Daylight and make uh, mod skins in it. And they put Slender Man into the game and played it, and it worked. And I'm like, what? I said, could you imagine if we would have had any of that footage in game of what it looked like with Slender Man walking around the map. We would have sold that chapter, that fake chapter idea to every single one of you. Even all the doubters out there who were like, ah, I'm going to watch this, but I know it's going to be a prank. As soon as you would have seen in-game footage of this Slendy skin mod that some modders did moving around in the game, you would have, been, you would have had second thoughts, I assure you. You would have been like, oh my god, maybe it is real. But that was crazy that that even developed this week on top of everything else that happened. So that's my April Fool's recap for the world of Dead by Daylight. Was there something I missed? Was there some uh, special April Fool's prank that you played on your friends that you want to share with the world? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, as always, everyone. And uh, oh, and uh, thank you all for the 50,000 subscriber milestone. It was quite shocking to see that number the other day when I went to load a video. I'm not really somebody who like focuses on my sub count or anything because I'm just doing this for my son and. He likes it, and apparently a few of you people out there like it too. So thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Couldn't have done this without you. So um, much love and appreciation. Take care of each other inside and outside of the fog, especially with current events going on. See you next time. Bye-bye.